Hey, this is Caio. And this is Mike. From EssentialDeveloper.com. All right, Tomato22. In the previous episode, we finished plugging everything together and it works. Now it's time to organize this project. It's too messy. And I want to match the same structure we have here. It kind of reflect our architecture, right? Yes. It would be nice to have a project for presentation, a project for routing, and a main project that puts everything together. But let's just separate in folders right now. Uh, it's too small to do this. Xcode doesn't help us with this modular True. approach. Let's do it. So first thing we need, main. He has the app delegate. The assets also live in main. The launch screen. Well, no, this is the UI. So let's leave it here. Info lives in main. Factory also lives in main. So app delegate, the factory. And that's it. That's main. Then we have UI. And UI have all of those. And the cells. And we can make subfolders there. Yes. So let's have here the question. We put the question in here. Let's have a result. And let's drag everything related to results. And in here we can probably break down and have cells. And then we can have our nibs and our classes together. Like that. Uh, this shouldn't be here. So we should probably have a helpers folder. And what about the launch screen? Uh, just a folder called the launch. I think it makes sense. Yeah, following the same pattern, we have launch. And let's put the helper above. Okay, so if we have a project, we will have folders like this. Mm -hmm. Imagine that this is a project, and this is another project. So now we will need a presentation module. And here we have the presentable answer, and the results and question presenter. Do we need to break it down in folders as well? We could. Yeah, we could. Let's have the question folder. And let's have the results folder. Our result. And let's put this here. Okay, this is our presentation. Now we need the routing. And this two goes in there. I need to do the same for the tests. That's it. So separated in folders. It's pretty easy for us now to just drag and drop things to a new project when needed because we have all the right separations here. Let me just run the test again. I think we can now run the test code coverage. Oh yeah. When I guess. Okay, I will get over 93%. 95. Okay, but you get the right coverage. Since we are not testing this, this is just a spike. Let's comment this out. Okay. Get our coverage data and let's run. Okay, let's see. Let's get the latest one. Coverage. And here is our app. Coverage is 97%. We can even have a look at what we are not testing. And here it is. Question view controller, the queue cell. We are not testing. Okay. Oh, hey, okay. We don't have a test that gets in here. I'm fine with that. Uh, the results presenter also have some untested behavior, and that is the fatal. Yeah, every fatal error. error, because we cannot catch this. I'm fine with that as well. Our factory also for fatal error, and here for this set. Okay, we added this logic here, and we didn't test it. This needs test. Yeah. 
So see how the coverage help us. We don't care about the number. Exactly. We care about the behavior we are testing. And this needs to be tested. So the app delegates, okay. And that's it. So the only thing we need to test is the factory. This is a test. It's very simple, but our refactoring could definitely break our app and we would have no idea. True. And we should also run the quiz engine coverage. So let me edit this as well. Let me get the coverage. Let me run the test for the quiz engine. And the result is... Oh! Okay. Whoa! <laughs> that is crazy. Medal for you, sir. <laughs> That's the core. And we did everything with TDD. Yep. And we have no undesired behaviors in there. So I'm very happy with this. Okay. I think this is it. Let's commit our last changes. And this is it. 21 tomatoes. Yes. Pretty happy with the result. We still have a lot of things to do. We don't want this code in the app delegate. And we want to have a business logic layer in between the core here. And we also need to add services, multiplayer, databases, databases. But we are in the right track because we don't need to change anything here to add a service. We don't need to change anything here to add a business logic layer, right? As long as the concrete implementations live in main and our application doesn't cross boundaries unnecessarily, we are good. So yes, good job. Good job, sir. <laughs>